So in today's video, I went ahead and bought the D-Brand Real Tan Leather Skin for my MacBook Pro, the M3 2023 model. And this is how it looks. Now, I really caught eye of this when I was watching one of Marquez's videos and he has this exact same skin on his MacBook. So I wanted to try it out and put it onto mine and see how easy it is to put it on. What is the material actually like? Does it cause a lot of scratches on it? And overall, if I'm actually happy with it. Now this comes in at $70, the link is in the description. Let's go ahead and start putting it on to my MacBook Pro and see how good this actually is. Okay, so one thing to note is that when you do order this tan leather skin, you only get the top part. You don't get any other parts for the bottom, the insides around the keyboard or anything like that. It will just be to cover the top of your base and that is what essentially you'll be paying for. Now you'll see there's a little white border for the adhesive backing on this skin. That's because this doesn't go directly edge to edge. Dbrand always mentioned on their installation videos that they need to leave a tiny bit of a gap around there, just like a little border for it to expand out by itself. So let's go ahead. It comes with this nice little microfiber cloth, also in a tan color. Give your MacBook a good clean. Make sure there's no dust on there, no fingerprints and it should be a very straightforward process to install. So I would suggest just taking off the backing from the top, like so, and then working your way down. So I'll give it about that much. And then we should be able to start putting it on. make sure you leave a tiny border but if you do go wrong then you can take this back off again now you can see as i'm pressing this on it does cause a bit of tear and lines on the actual leather itself and you start pulling back so the apple logo is perfectly aligned which is good and actually the leather skin is much easier to put on than the traditional vinyl skins just because it's a little bit more thicker it's less susceptible to bubbles and then almost finished there we go first time round everything went great there we have it and to be honest I feel like this is going to get a lot more scratches onto this MacBook Pro skin just because of the material and you can see just by putting it on all these little scratches you can see that are embedded onto the leather are now very visible. So over time me putting this into my backpack, taking it in and out, carrying it into different rooms, taking it with me wherever I go, I can see it getting a lot of scratches even within like just the first month of using it like that and I feel like it's going to be in a situation where I feel like I would want to take it off after a while and for me that's not great to have that quality material and in the packaging i don't know if you can see there's a little mark a dirt mark just there that actually came with the packaging of the skin this i can't take off if i try to scratch it off there's going to be a big mark right there and i don't think that's something i want to do so quality wise it's not so great let's just take a closer look you can see that so in my honest opinion, I feel like the tan leather skins on the D-Brand website are probably not as great as most people would assume. Obviously they're a little bit more expensive because of the material, but I'm going to try it out and I will keep in touch with everyone on my Instagram on how the progress has gone and what this looks like after a month of usage. And hopefully you guys can get a good idea if this is also something that you would consider buying from the D-Brand website. So the only reason I really wanted to try out the tan leather skin from Dbrand is because I was going for this kind of brown themed for my Apple devices. I have the Torpe fine woven case for my iPhone. I have the Torpe fine woven magnetic strap for my Apple Watch. And I was just a fan of this type of color theme of this like light brown colors. So I just wanted to do all of these matchings, but over time, even if you see the official Apple MagSafe Torpe case, you can see how it's degraded in color along the edges. It's a lot darker. You can't really see that clearly on the camera, but just putting it in and out of my pocket multiple times, 
the actual material on this is is not basically lasted that long and i hope that's not the case for this leather skin from a macbook but let's see over time and i'll keep you updated on my instagram so that's it the d brand leather tan skin my very initial thoughts on just unpacking it and putting it on for the first time if it is value for money my answer would be no i just feel like this has already started to get scratches and i've barely even touched it or even used it at all so that's my take let me know what you guys think if you do have the leather skins maybe in a different color drop your comments down below let everyone else know your experiences with it make sure to like this video and subscribe and i'll catch you all at the next one take care